everybody hope so you all are well and in today's video we'll be discussing some mcqs which are based on the animal kingdom and these are very very important questions which may be asked in the examination and before starting this video i will be liking to tell you that all those aspirants who are actually at present in the class 12th or they are preparing for the neat as well as those students who have given the neat exam in this year 2020 but because of some conditions if they were not having the proper uh, dealing with the subject then they can join my batch of 12th plus neat which is starting from 1st october and this batch will be a umang batch we have given the name umang batch to this one and each and everybody from india can join this batch because this batch will be live batch and we'll be totally focusing on 12th ncert as well as the neat and it's it's too much cheap course only it is expensing just 900 rupees for the entire course means we'll be starting our class from 1st october daily 1 hour till your neat exam so it's very wonderful batch if you want to join just give a ring to our helpline number they will guide you so starting today that is the mcqs on the animal kingdom that is the part 3 question number 1 the distinguishing feature of all chordate is means some options are given to you and you have to choose it that which is the feature which will indicate that these are chordates so the distinguishing feature of all chordate is a ventrally placed nerve cord no this is wrong all the chordates are having dorsal tubular nerve cord so first option cannot be there a water vascular system water vascular system was actually the feature of the echinodermates which were belonging to the non chordates all right a chitinous exoskeleton a chitinous exoskeleton was found in the arthropods so a b and c options cannot be there and the fourth one is an elastic rod which is also what is a notochord you know very well that all the chordates have a notochord in any stage of the life so that's why question number 1 is having the answer d d is the perfect answer for the question number 1 now coming to the question number 2 cartilaginous fishes are characterized by the presence of you know very well that fishes are classified into two important uh, categories one is known as the cartilaginous fishes and another are known as the bony fishes now the question is that cartilaginous fishes are characterized by the presence of terminal mouth no terminal mouth is the feature of the bony fishes terminal mouth is the feature of the bony fishes ventral mouth yes of course cartilaginous fishes are characterized by the presence of the ventral mouth b is correct now coming to the c a homo circle tail a homo circle tail homo circle tail uh, are actually found in the bony fishes okay so the perfect option goes that is the ventral mouth cartilaginous fishes are having the ventral mouth so question number 2 is having the answer b question number 2 is having the answer b now air bladder is present in you know very well that air bladder is present in air bladder is present in bony fishes air bladder is present in bony fishes and the air bladder is absent in the cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes are not having the air bladder and that's why they have to continuously swim in water if they will not swim they will sink down in water but air bladder is present in the bony fishes and because of that and because of that they don't have to swim regularly they will not sink at the bottom all right so dogfish now dogfish hackfish electric fish or flying fish now out of these fishes out of this fishes the flying fish which is also called as the exocetus which is also called as the exocetus flying fish 
which is also called as exocetus right is a bony fish and we must know that in bony fish air bladder is present in bony fish air bladder is present so question number 3 will be having the answer b now question number 4 in modern elasmobranch you know what are elasmobranch elasmobranch fishes are beta cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes are also called as elasmobranch so in in modern elasmobranch the fertilization is always external always internal maybe external maybe internal or none of the above remember this thing that in the modern cartilaginous fishes or the elasmobranch fertilization is always internal fertilization is always internal why because the males are having the copulatory organ males are having the copulatory organ which is called as the clasper and if the males are having the copulatory organ then definitely they will introduce the male gamete in the female and the fertilization will be internal so question number four is having the answer b coming to the fifth one print glands you know what are print glands print glands are oil glands print glands are oil glands which are found below the tail which are found below the tail of the birds all right so the question is print glands occurring reptiles birds amphibians or mammals again i am repeating reptiles birds amphibians or mammals so print glands and print glands are only and only they are only and only found in birds so question number 5 will be having the answer b question number question number 5 will be having the answer b print glands will occur in birds now question number 6 you might have heard this question connecting link between reptiles and birds means there will be few characters of the reptiles and there will be few characters of the birds so connecting link between the reptiles and the birds is the archaeopteryx which is a primitive bird all right so connecting link between reptile and bird dodo archaeopteryx rhea or sphenodon so archaeopteryx is the connecting link between the reptiles and the birds question number six is having the answer b now question number seven character found only in mammal you have to choose a character which is peculiarly which is peculiarly found only in mammal homeothermy now homeothermy is found in mammal but it is found in the birds also it is found in the birds also so homeothermy is not only peculiar to the mammals it is peculiar to birds also now viviparity viviparity what about viviparity viviparity means giving birth to the young ones there are lots and lots of organisms which can be viviparous there are some fishes which are viviparous there are some reptiles which are viviparous all right there are uh, the other mammals all right that are also viviparous so character found only in mammal so viviparity is not found only in the mammal it may be found but other creatures may also have viviparity so this is also not a specific character diacondylic skull means the presence of the two occipital condyles there are many other creatures they also have the dicondylic skull means have two occipital condyles and the diaphragm so diaphragm is specific character diaphragm is the feature of the mammal only crocodile which is an exception we will not count here only the crocodile which is a reptile is having the diaphragm otherwise diaphragm is not found in any other creature and the diaphragm is the specific feature or the character of the mammal so question number seven is having the answer d Question number 8. Whale is a mammal because whale is a mammal. You must not be confused. Sometimes the people are thinking that it is found in the uh, aquatic environment and seems to be like fish and that's why it may be uh, a creature belonging to the species. But this is wrong. Whale is a mammal. But why? It lay eggs. It lay eggs. Now it's not the uh, reason. All right that the whale is a mammal because it lay eggs this is not the perfect reason heart four chambered aquatic habitat or diaphragm is found between thoracic and abdominal cavity just now in question number seven also we have discussed that the presence of the diaphragm is the special feature of the mammal 
it's not found in any other creatures so whales are having a diaphragm between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity and because of the presence of the diaphragm between the thoracic and the abdominal cavity the whale is a mammal whale is a mammal so question number 8 must be having the perfect answer that is d all right so these are some important questions based on the animal kingdom what we have discussed today uh, along with the theoretical topics uh, at my channel i have uploaded a lots of videos based on mcqs also because studying is different and doing questions is a different thing all right many times the students are having a good command on the theory but they commit mistakes when they are attempting the questions all right so it's my humble request to you that along with the theory portion you also have a practice daily practice of the mcqs so you can search mcqs in playlist along with the theoretical videos at my channel so thanks a lot for watching me we'll be coming soon with a new video